good morning. How everybody doing out there? My brother Ryan, how you doing this morning? Come on here and let's talk about this little square downtown here. All right, my brother. What's up there, man? Not too much. This old building here that we standing in front of, this is my mother was married at this building. Okay. What year was that? You know that idea, bro? Oh, man. My mom was married back then. Oh, God. It had to be. Oh, man. It was a long time ago. It was a long time. It was, it was, back, in, it was back in, in it had to be 1950, oh, 55 and 56. Okay, like okay. We in Valdosta, Lyons County. This is kvci.blogspot.com. We're right across from WCTV uh, Channel 6 News as well. Uh, Doc, you say you want to t assemble here this morning. Oh, uh, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about this building, the time frame when it was well, built, and well, you know, the, 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 one of the greatest conspiracies ever occurred here in the United States of America just occurred there yesterday, and they're voting on it today. And it's 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 kind of sad to have to say that that we got such a shock wave running across our great nation and perhaps the world based upon what's going on economically on a worldwide on a global scale. But when we narrate it back down, it all brings it back home. And this old building is a very historical building and history seems to be repeating itself time and time again. You know, that being said, you know, um, our president, I'm a firm believer that if he would have submitted a plan uh, on this budget hike, plan that they were putting forward to increase the deficit ceiling. Um, he would have been classified as the downfall of the of this nation. They're trying to see it now. Okay? But you know that but it's a it's a conspiracy. It's a plot. It's a great scheme. And it's the same type of scheme that, that, that we face. Or do you mean it started out as a scheme? and now it doesn't backfire. Do you mean that? Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they had a plan that didn't work for them. Right. Is that what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Exactly. It didn't work. Um, you take, like here, in the Niles County, um, we are working together for the first time, okay? And things are seem to be coming together to a certain degree. But it's going to take everybody to pull out of this mess and win. On, on, on a local level, as well as as a international scale, you know. Uh, but back to the president, I, I do believe that the struggle that we are facing in this country is this hidden agenda that no one wants to talk about. No one wants to talk about bringing race involved. Okay? But it's it's a, it's a fight to this. Everybody want to get around that, and and, and these hidden agendas. If he wouldn't have been the first black president of the United States, if he wouldn't be such a sharp individual that he is, this would really be a global testament. Okay? So, so what, 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 what's your opinion? Well, I think everything is online. I think everything is on track. I don't, I, I'm not like the, the Republicans like Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and the rest of the real patriots and, uh, and reverse Christians and fo reverse followers of Jesus Christ who all they see is gloom and doom. That's all they see is gloom and doom. This building here, the Lyons County Courthouse, and the reason I got the camera like that because I wanted to share with you so that watch this, the magnificence of this building and uh, the way that it's built and constructed. We won't see no building oh, like this man. no more. And they moved this, uh, the courthouse from here over there. Personally, I wish they could have found a way take this up Man. or take this down but leave it the way it was because we won't see this anymore. This is the right here and I do believe it's a reflection of, of, of the people. I believe that the magnificence of this building, I believe it's in all of us right You know, I believe it's in our communities, I believe it's in our neighborhoods. I think that we just need to come on together and go ahead and, and, and make something work. The Democrats, the Republicans, has got to make the thing work now. Things don't just happen, we have to make them happen. And the only way we can make them happen is we got to, we got to face the facts of reality, okay? And we got to deal with what, what really exists. You brought up something the other day about the, about the, uh, the balance between income. You were 
saying that the code is 20 to 1, 20 to 1. The white to black ratio of income yeah, is 20 to 1. That. 20 to 1. Let's be for real. Well, it's 20 to 1, and we know why it's 20 to 1. When you look at the construction work, when you look at these downtown areas here, if you go into the city annex here in Valdosta, Lyons County, no different. We just left the industrial authority. I'm not criticizing nobody. I'm, t I'm speaking the facts of reality. I didn't see no blacks working up there. Uh, you go down to the city annex, uh, they, they're trying to do better, and Larry Hampton said he's done better by hiring more blacks. But the bottom line is, is that there's a disparity in the number of blacks in these positions. It's local, state, and federal. When you look at the concrete that's being paved on pavement industry, paving these roads, whether it's concrete, sidewalk, and landscape, whatever it is, blacks are locked out. And when they're not locked out, they'll use the term that they're not qualified. Well, we understand, black folk, we understand, that's one thing we understand, we understand qualification. You could have a PhD back in the day and you couldn't even go into a white university, although you had a PhD to teach, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, you could have a, you could be the most, you could be the smartest person, but you still couldn't go to certain, uh, uh, even the schools because they were segregated. And so we know about qualification, so now, if, 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 I'm in the, if I'm in the key position of letting people come into my plant to work, and if I don't want you in there, you can have all the qualifications you want, but you know, I'm not gonna let you in. Now, I know they say, well, Booker T. Washington talked about talented content, content when you, uh, as they dropped the buckets down where you're here, he, thought, he, talk, he talked about education. But now they told us to get an education and you'll be respected and you'll be equal to the, to the, to the, to the majority. They also said, create an organization and then you, you will be respected. So black, and, and, and all of this. So we created Masonic Lodge, we still wasn't respected. We got the education, we still wasn't respected. And it goes on and on. And so now they'll say you're not qualified. But now you and I, we was over the lamp that, uh, a year ago, and uh, we saw people with master, uh, social degrees, master degrees, who couldn't even get a job in the school system. And so they standing out there with all the qualifications, but yet still they're unemployed. You're right. And they have a story to tell because they in the system and they can tell you some story that you wouldn't believe, but nobody want to publish their side of the story. Just like we met down there at the liquor store down there. Right. Them guys That's got right. a story that won't nobody interview them, right. but I hope they get, I hope they interview them. You see, and so this is just, what you always say is an un, untold story. It's like what you say about the food stamp. We see the pavement, we see the, 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 the concrete, but beneath the concrete is another world. We see the government giving people uh, food stamps, but there's another world under the, under the food stamp program. Yes, yes, so when you talk about qualification, there's more to it than just what meets that. Well, you know, in closing this out, I believe that the underworld is a supporter of the upper world. And it's just like this building here. We are downtown and we see downtown thriving right now. But there's another world, of the underworld of this world. Yes, sir. Okay. That's supporting this world, that if you remove the underworld, this upper world is crumbling and crush. Okay? And I do believe that if they, if we can reinvest back in our local communities and if we all put power in our efforts, I believe we're gonna make this thing work. I believe we can. We ain't got a choice. Well I, choice do we have? I, I, I personally don't believe that we are gonna make it work. I know we're gonna okay, make it work. We, right. we we don't have a choice. We don't have a because choice. when we stop making it work, you know, when we stop making it work, right. uh it ain't working. Not and when it's not working, we ain't working, and we ain't working because we dead. <laughs> you got that right. And so we want to live, like you say, we, we got to do what? We ain't got no choice, bro. We got to do what we do. We, we got to get done. We got to do what we do. That's right. All right. All right. Hey, look here. KVCI.blogspot.com. We just keeping you informed because that's what we do. Right, Doc? That's what we do. Peace. Doc Ghetto Child. And the manly hour. Till next time. Till next time. Bye-bye. We gone. Yes, sir.